Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to answer that age-old question that I get asked all the time. Can you have formatting and colors in a list box? Today's question comes from Simon in Oregon, one of my silver members. Simon asks, is it possible to have formatting and colors for different rows in a standard list box? Well, Simon, the short answer is no, you can't. The standard access list box only allows one uniform color. You can have a different color for the selected item, but all of the items in the box have to be of the same color. With that said, when people tell me that they want a colorized or formatted list, they don't necessarily need a list box and there are some other things we can do to simulate that effect. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, one of the questions I get asked a lot all the time is, can I use colors or other formatting in a list box? The answer, unfortunately, is no. Sorry to burst your bubble, there's no way you can do it with the basic access list box control. For example, let's say I want to be able to pick my state from a list box or a combo box. The same limitation applies in both. You could make a little state list box on here or a combo box, right? Let's say, uh, let's go up to the control box here and find the list box and drop it down here. Let's just type in the values that you want. Okay, let's say you've got New York. Let's say you, you only do business in three states, New York, Florida, and California. Okay, next. And then we're going to store that value in uh, the state field. Next, and then finish. Okay. So instead of typing it in here, we have this little list box over here. I'm going to save that, close it, and reopen it. All right, notice Florida is selected. If I change that, see these are bound to the same control. Okay, so as I change this one, this one over here changes. As you move through your records, that's nice because they're, they stay bound. All right, let's change this guy to New York. Go back over here, Florida. Okay, so that, that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of handy. But what if I want to have these colored differently? I want New York to be blue. I want Florida red. I want California green, let's say. All right. There's no way in here. If you come in here and change these colors, okay, if I go to format and I change these colors, I'm changing the entire list box. Notice, look at, see, you can get the highlighted one to look different, but there's no way to change the individual ones. You can't change this with VB code. There's no conditional formatting for it. Okay. So unfortunately with the built-in list box control, you cannot do that. Goodbye. Now, when I talk to most people who want to do that, what they really want is the, the ability to colorize a list that they can select from for any different reason, whether it's a sales rep's region or if it's a, uh, you know, a discount bracket that the customer's in or for whatever reason they want to colorize list. The best way to set up a colorized list is with a continuous form. Now I've done some videos on continuous forms before and some of them are on YouTube for free and on my website for free. I know I've covered it in a lot of my classes. I'll put some links below the video in the description if you wanna learn more about continuous forms. But we just wanna make a real simple one so we can pick our state from. So let's close this real quick, save changes, sure. Let's go and make another table. Create, table design. This will be my list of states. I'm gonna put in here state name or state abbreviation ABBR will abbreviate abbreviation, right? That'll be short text. And I'm going to make that two, only two characters. All right. Again, very limited business. I only do business in three states. I don't foresee that changing in the future, but if it does, yeah, okay. I can, I can work with that. Now I know I just recorded a very long video on why it's important to use auto numbers and almost every table should have one, but I did say there are some exceptions. This is going to be a very short list of states. I'm going to make this the primary key. All right, it's going to be index, no duplicates. And, you know, New York, Florida, California, that's fine. Okay, I'm not worried about getting really big with this table. If I do, I can always change it later. All right, and you can put a state name in here if you want to. A longer version like New York spelled out. Save this as my state T. Okay, and let's put some data in here real quick. All right, so New York, right, New York, like that. Let's go Florida and California. Okay, and you can have more, but again, for the purposes of class, my company only does business in these three states. 
Now let's create a real simple continuous form so we can select from one of those states. All right, create, form design. First thing I'm gonna do is bind this form to a record source, which is a list of states from my state table. Okay, then I'm going to change this to a continuous form. Right, remember a single form, you only get one on the screen at a time. Continuous forms is a big long list. All right, now I'm going to just shrink this up a little bit like that. I'm going to add existing fields. Okay, let's bring in both of these. And we don't need these labels here. Delete. I'll put the abbreviation first. It's really short. Followed by the state name spelled out afterwards. Okay, shrink that up, shrink that up so it's nice and small. Save it, this will be my state, state F, just like that. All right, there's the state F, let's open it up. All right, looks good. All right, make it a little smaller. I don't like that alternating color band, but we're gonna get rid of that in a minute anyways. So let's go in here. Let's, now I wanna color code these. All right, I want New York to be blue, Florida to be red, and California to be green. All right, right click, design view. Let's open up the state abbreviation here. Okay, and we're gonna go to format, conditional formatting. This is where we can set the rules for how to color this text box. All right, new rule. If the value is equal to, and then in quotes, New York what to set it to. Let's set the background color to a light blue. That's not a really great blue. Let's get a better blue here. There you go. Okay, let's add another rule. New rule. If the value is equal to, in quotes, California, let's set the color to green. And then of course one more. New rule. Equal to, and then we'll set it to Florida. And let's go red. All right, there's our three rules for our three states we have. And you can add more. There is an upper limit. I don't know offhand what it is. I did a quick Google search. Couldn't find one. Um, I've never read into a limit, and I've had a lot of these in here. <laughs> okay, hit OK. Let's close that, save it, and reopen it again. And there we go. Now we got a color-coded list. Now how can I get this value when I click on it back into my customer form? That's where we, what we really want to do. Right, I want to be able to click on this, have this form open, right? Pick a value and then have it populate over here. Okay, that's the that's the trick. All right, let me close that. Now you can apply that same conditional formatting to this guy. By the way, watch this. Open this up in Design View. All right, open this up in Design View. All right, now click on that state abbreviation. Go to the Format Painter, which is right there. This guy here, the Format Painter, and then click on State, like that. All right, save it, close it, close it. Now when you open that up, oh wait, did it get it? Let me see, sometimes it doesn't get it. All right, hang on, let's try that again. Sometimes when you go, sometimes when you go across forms like that, I think it's a bug in access. You can't format paint easily across different forms. So sometimes what you gotta do is cheat, watch this. Copy this, copy, paste it in here. Now, format painter and paste down here on top of that guy. And that should work. I've noticed this before. All right, save it, close it, close it, and now let's open it up. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you gotta do that, it's a little trick. If you click on one thing and then and then try to form it, paste across onto a different form, it sometimes doesn't work. You just gotta copy the control and then it works fine. Now, how can I open up this little guy here when I double click on that? All right, this is gonna involve a little bit of programming, but it's only one command. Yeah, we could do it with a button too, but I like to teach you guys Visual Basic, all right? There's a button in the command wizard that you can use to open up a form, but I don't wanna do that. Watch this. Open up this guy's properties, go to events, and find on double click. When I double click on that state, I want something to happen. All right, hit the dot, dot, dot button, the builder button, that brings up the Visual Basic window. Now, don't pay attention to everything else that's in here. This is a template that I've used for some other classes, so ignore this stuff. What you care about is right here. It says state double click. Oh, by the way, if a window opened up asking you what kind of builder you want, you want the code builder. I had that turned off too. Okay, 
the code builder this puts you in my visual basic all you need is one line of code do command dot open form state f that's it open up that state form that's all you need one line of code see visual basic is not scary I want you to know it's just a couple little commands and you can do all kinds of cool stuff all right close that close that close this save it yes now from here if i double click i've opened up that state form and you can move this and position it wherever you want like right there all right close double click see and close now how do i get this value back to there well we're gonna do the same trick i'm gonna double click on this and it's gonna populate that value there and then close this form all right watch this and again very easy two lines of code this time all right go to state abbreviation bring up its double click on it bring up its properties on event on double click right we're using that on double click event again hit the dot 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 button code builder now this guy doesn't have any other code in it yet so we got two things we have to do we have to hit we have to say forms exclamation point customer f customer f exclamation point state equals the name of the field here is state abbreviation so state abbr that sets the value on the customer form now i'm going to close the state picker form okay i'm going to say do command dot close then you pick from the list here pick ac form that closes a form comma what is the object name the current form that we're on the form name is what my state f so state f all right comma and the third option is do you want to save it i don't want to be prompted all the time so i'll just say ac save yes that way it'll, if you make any changes it'll save it for you that's it two lines of code see this stuff isn't that scary all right close that close this close that save changes <laughs> i like to close everything down and reopen it okay so california double click let's change it to florida double click look at that let's change it again Double click, make it New York, double click. See, that's how you open up a little form like that and then send the value back. Now, a lot of times when people say they want a colored list box, that's really all they want is a colored list of options like this. Maybe this was a list of sales reps. In fact, I just recorded um, my Access Developer 16 class. And now this class does require a lot of programming. I was able to get it as a what looks like a colored list box inside of another form. This involves a lot more programming, a lot of techniques, but this is usually what people are looking for. Here, there's a list of sales reps and they're colored based on their state. All right, but this is a lot more advanced. I covered this in my Access Developer 16 class. I'll put a link below in case you really, really want that. But a lot of times when people are telling me they want a colored list box, this is usually good enough. All right, you can color this list based on whatever criteria you want, pick a value, close it, and it goes right back to that form. So that's all for this tech help video. However, there is an extended cut for members where I will show you how to lock down that little pop-up box so that users can't change those values. And I'll also show you how you can colorize that second column based on the value in the first one. And like I said before, if you really, really, really want it to look like a list box inside of another form, I do cover this in my Microsoft Access Developer Level 16 course. I'll put a link to that below the video. How do you become a member? Well, it's easy. Just click on that join button right there under the video on YouTube, and you will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos if you're a silver member and up, live video, chat sessions, and other perks, of course. Once you click join, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels. And of course, thanks for watching this free tech help video. Of course, these videos will always be free. I'm going to keep making them as long as you keep watching them. If you like this video, make sure you click on the like button. Give me a little thumbs up there. Share it if you think others will find it handy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Click on that little bell and pick all. You'll get email notifications whenever I release a new video. For more information, click on that little show more link down below the video. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it, but there it is. You'll get all kinds of other links for cool stuff. If you have not yet already watched my Access Level 1 beginner course, it's three hours long. And it's absolutely free. It's right here on YouTube and on my website. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. And again, for members, that's free. Want to see your question answered in a video like this? Just visit my tech help page. 
Okay, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.